Thorium nitride gel is a kind of hydrogel that is extraordinary, mechanical strong and tough. Conventional hydrogel is mechanical weak. This kind of hydrogel is consists of a single network from polymers. And for a double network gel, it's extremely mechanical strong and tough. This kind of tough double network gels is consists of two kinds of network interpenetrated with each other. And one network is very brittle and, and another network is very stretchable. So this kind of structure make a double network gel very strong and tough. Because of high strength and toughness of a hydrogel, and this kind of double network gels can be used as, for example, artificial cartridge. In addition to the double network gels, we develop various kinds of functional gels, for example, the self-heating gels. And if you cut the gels by a cutter, the gel can be rejoined. And this kind of gel will be used in some places. Once the, the material is free, it can be recovered uh, for some applications. Oh yeah, we developed the color changing gels based on the ordered structures. And this color can be tuned by slight compression, for example. So this kind of gel can be used as a stress sensor or the strain sensors. So common gel is relatively soft. So for some applications, we need gel both mechanically high strength, stiff, and also uh, flexible, for example. Then uh, the idea is to combine the fibers with hybrid gels. And this kind of combination gives us a gel uh, with a very high tensile strength and flexible and simultaneously with a very strong resistance against uh, the clock propagation. So this composite gel is very tough. Recently, we developed uh, self-growing gels um, by mechanical stimulus, just like a uh, muscle that through mechanical training, the muscle becomes strong. And this gel also, by mechanical training, it comes strong. Soft matter is a really uh, amazing field, uh, very attractive for me because it involves physics, chemistry, biology. Also involves mechanics and engineering. And specifically for me, uh, I would like to focus on the research of growing materials, especially growing hydrogels. This gel has a possibility to be used in various kind of application like a self-growing robot, very intelligent robot, that the user as a robot and then the robot become more adaptable to the environment.